Okay, first grade. Okay, so get excited. This week, we are going to take our brainstorming that we created and book covers that we learned about and the sentences that we made, and we're going to put everything together and we are going to create our very first story. So we are going to be becoming authors this week. Kind of exciting. So we're going to go through all of the steps of the writing process. Number one, let's remember our treatment agreement. We're not going to get frustrated. We're going to try our very best. And we're going to remember that our parents are there to help, but we are first grade and we can do this. Okay, so I always want to remember that because I know that sometimes writing can be hard. And so I don't want you to worry. Writing is very hard for me. So I get where you're coming from. But we're going to take it slow. Okay, let's just talk about the writing stages. Okay, so if you look at this, first graders write with words and with pictures. So at the top here, here's my picture. And at the bottom, those are my words. Now, let me start with this. Number one, I could never draw that good. Y'all seen my drawings? I can't draw that well. Number two, that's like the nicest handwriting and I, I, can't, I can't do that kind of handwriting. So this is just an example. This is, this is a great example, but I, 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 I can't do that. So we're just giving you, I'm just giving you an example. So don't worry. Don't think that that's what yours has to look like. We're just giving you an example of what words, of what it looks like for it to be words and pictures, okay? You'll see my drawings in a minute. So here's the writing process, okay? And I love this anchor chart because I love the purple monster. He's just so cute. In the writing process, you start with pre-writing where you are just writing everything that comes into your brain and you're putting it on paper. Everything that is about a topic, you're just throwing it on paper. We don't care about spelling. We don't care if it's neat, pretty handwriting. It is just getting all the thoughts that are in your brain on paper. And I'm going to tell you, that's the hardest part. It truly is. It's the hardest part of writing, getting all of your thoughts on paper. Because it just, it, it is. So, I don't want you to worry about spelling. I don't want you to worry about how neat it is. I don't want you to worry about if some letters are big and some letters are small. Just anything that you can think of with an idea, you throw it on paper. The second part is a drafting, okay? It's where you write your first copy. You're like, oh no, Miss Crouch, what's she talking about more than one copy? Oh no. It's just kind of taking your thoughts that you wrote in in your draft, in your pre-writing, and putting them into sentences. That's all it is, okay? So that's our drafting, okay? The next stage is revising, where you kind of go back and you look at it, and you think, hmm, did I start with that capital letter that she talked about at every day in sentence of the day? Did I put a punctuation? So that's when it talks about revising. You're just kind of fixing little things. Editing is when you actually go in and like fix it on your paper. And you can use different colors and things like that. And then publishing means that you are going to like put the book cover on top and then you get to kind of share. Now, these are just the writing steps. And I'm just showing you what the writing steps are. I'm not saying that we're going to be doing all of these because guess what? We've already done half of them. I'm just taking what we did before and putting it together into a piece. But I love this little monster and I love going through this um, anchor chart because this is what we will refer to all year. Okay. So this is where we are in the writing process. You've already done your pre writing when we did our topics, the things that we loved to do. Okay. So we are already into that first copy. And I'll tell you, you kind of already have that too. So get excited. You're almost there. Okay, so let's look. So we're going to practice being authors and drafting. 
So we're going to take, and we're just going to draft one sentence. Just one sentence. That's it. So you, we, we have our list of our favorite things, okay? Remember, I said shopping, and I said read a new book and go to the pool. Those are the fa my favorite things to do whenever I have time. So we already did that, right? We, we did that. And I chose shopping because y'all know I like to go Target. So I'm going to draft one sentence about going to Target. One, that's it, okay? So let me show you. On my brainstorming page, I wrote one sentence and I said, one time I went to my favorite store. That's it. I just brainstormed. I wrote my sentence and I drew a picture. I'm a writer. Okay, I, 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 I wrote. That's not hard, right? We can do that. We can do that. We totally do that. So that's all you have to do is one is write one sentence about one of your favorite things that you like to do. Now, if you remember last week, we remember we, were, we wrote a beginning, we wrote a middle, we wrote an end, right? So this is just going to, because we're going to use that. We're going to use that brainstorming page that you used last week. So don't create a new topic. Don't make more work. Don't make more work for yourself. Go get those old topics out. Get one of your drafts, whichever one you want to talk about. And you're going to write just one sentence. One time I went to my favorite store. One time I played basketball. One time. I took the dog for a walk. That's all you're going to do. And then you're going to draw a picture. Okay. And you just did your drafting. Like you just did a piece of your drafting. Okay. Here are some things that I wanted to show you. So this is what mine looks like. Oh, I'm so sorry. This is what mine looked like. And this is what yours looks like. So it's, it's going to be in the packet that I have that I sent home with you guys on Friday or it is going to be linked into Schoology and you can print it um, or you can write on a piece of notebook paper. I just wanted you guys to have um, the lines and I wanted you to have some of the words already written for you so that you don't get frustrated. OK, so this is your assignment. All you're going to do is write one sentence about what you like to do. OK, just one. That's it. OK, now spelling. I know that spelling can be tricky and can be hard, okay? You're not going to ask your parents for help. You're going to stretch out the words and you're going to sound them out. It is okay if you don't know how to spell at all. I promise, okay? I'm not looking at spelling. I'm looking at your idea, okay? In writing, that's what we're doing. So. You, you can do many different things. You can stretch out the words, okay? And just the sounds that you hear. Not say, mom, how do you spell that word? Because let me tell you, that is what Avery does all the time. Yesterday we were doing science. Mom, how do you spell this? I said, Avery, sound it out, okay? It's okay if we don't want to spell. You can use the alphabet chart that's in your virtual learning kit or the one that I have provided for you in Schoology. You don't have to print it. You can just look at it. You can look at a word wall. Now, if we were in school, I have a word wall that is on um, our board, but I also have a virtual word wall that you guys can look at, and those are gonna have the first 25 sight words, so use that to help you. Also, think of words that you know that is like the word that you wanna spell. So sometimes my principal will ask me to write an email and he'll want me to use a certain word. And I'm like, I don't know how to spell that. So I'll just think of a different word that sounds like it. But just try the best that you can, okay? Stretch it out. Use the alphabet chart that you have in your folders or use the word wall that I've provided down below, okay? Then you're going to submit that one brainstorming page into Schoology, all right? You can do this. Cannot wait to see what you have. All right, guys, go get started.